Okay, everybody, kind of a short video, or at least I hope it's a short video. Uh, what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show off a couple of pictures I've got here on my phone that I took today because I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go by the store. I, I got to go by Walmart. I got to go inside. Uh, got to pick up some things for a trip. Uh, it's not a long one. I'm just heading to a city and then coming right back. But... I go into the store and I'm like, you know, I, I should go by the video game section. You'll see what new games are coming out. And I show up there and something caught my eye in the display case that at some point I'm just looking at the situation and saying, you know, uh, Neil Druckmann is just a really shitty person because you have to be a real narcissistic moron with mental disorders to find to not finally sit there and say we fucked up. And that's all you'd have to say right now is look, I'm sorry. We screwed up your game. We screwed up the fan base. We screwed up the franchise. We are sorry. That's all Neil Druckmann would have to do. But we're we're about to see this because here, let me we're we're gonna talk about this for just a minute. I'm gonna try and make this short video, but let's get on with it. Look here in this display case right now, and you'll see this was what caught my eye real quickly. Was well, I'm sitting there looking at this, and I see The Last of Us Part Two, the tr supposed to be AAA game of the year. That remember this got almost near perfect scores. It was like ten out of ten, ten out of ten, ten out of ten, ten out of ten, five out of four, five out of five, five out of five, five out of five, five out of five, five out of five. That's what you were seeing on the commercials on YouTube all the time. That that was on YouTube, it was on TV. Oh, this is going to be the greatest game ever. And most of us already knew. I had a friend of mine that I told him what happened in the game. I spo He finally said, look, just spoil it for me because you're telling me it's not worth it. I need to know before I buy it. I don't want to waste my money if it's bad. So I explained to him the entire plot of the game. And he goes, oh, they ruined it. You could literally hear my buddy die inside of his chest through the gaming headset. He was he was a fan of this. Like I said, I've never been a fan of Last of Us Part 2. I never played it. I didn't see a point. But he was a fan. This is a dude who's die hard, giving me play-by-play -play of the game, telling me I needed to buy it. And I literally heard him die inside. Like a bit of his soul just vapored out of his mouth. When he heard the leaks, it, it hurt. I could tell, I was like, I feel bad now. I literally told him, I said, man, I feel bad. I, I really hurt you. He goes, yeah, yeah, you did Raider, but it's a necessary pain. I, you, you saved me from, he said, you, you hurt me a little bit to save me a lot of pain later. So, I mean, yeah, Chris is a good guy, but anyway, this, it, this right here, I mean, you look at this picture and you got NASCAR Heat 5 being supposed to have been a perfect, near perfect game. All right. This is, this is kind of drives me out, which is a game about, which mind you, this is a game about angry lesbian trying to kill angry tranny who killed angry lesbian surrogate father. But angry lesbian doesn't kill angry tranny because angry lesbian has change of heart towards Angry Tranny, which makes no sense because Angry Lesbian has done killed almost all of Angry Tranny's best friends, <laughs> including her lover. <laughs> it's just like, I'm sorry, that's not how things work. That's not realistic. There is a, there, there's this thing in the military, they'll, they'll tell you, they're like, dude, uh, killing is really easy. It's not every guy that I've talked to in the military. They say there, there's nothing hard about killing someone. I said it's very easy. I said especially when you're in the heat of combat. They said you, you when you're getting shot at, it's very easy to shoot the other guy on the other side because at that point your life is on the line, and you have a means of defending yourself. And you've been you've had it drilled into your head that you need to survive. The military doesn't teach you to to kill to win. They teach you to kill to survive. Because that's it doesn't take a whole lot. When your life's on the line, you will kill. People ask the question. People say, well, I don't think I could. I don't think I could. 
Here's the question, okay? Just, just ask yourself a very simple question. What would you do if you walked in, even if you're a pacifist, what would you do if you walked in and you saw a dude had a family member by the neck beating on them and you, and you say, stop, and they say, fuck you? What next? Do you keep talking or do you jump over there and try to physically restrain them? Congratulations, you're no more no longer a pacifist because you're trying to you're trying to use violence to end violence. But anyway, here we have the last of us part two. You know, here it is. It's just it's full. You can't give this shit away because the story sucks. The game is depressing. It's a depressing, angry lesbian, angry tranny simulator. It's just a left end simulator. You you look at the spoilers of this game. And the people who made this game, like Neil Druckmann, and you realize people on the left side of politics are just horrible. They, they have nothing they believe in, and they're just miserable. Whereas if we go over here, oh, what is this? This game is sold out. Well, I mean, what is this at $59? Just like The Last of Us Part Two, mind you. How, what, what game is this at $59? That is sold out. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, oh my god, it's, it can't be Ghost of Tsushima. It's Ghost of Tsushima, folks. That, that just outsold how? I'll tell you why. Because Ghost of Tsushima has a better story. It's got better gameplay. Um, The Last of Us Part 2, uh, from what other people have seen and from playthroughs that I've seen, you're stuck in sort of a linear map, which is basically a walking simulator. You have some large arena areas where you can fight, which I think is the stupidest idea I've ever heard of. And you don't have a whole lot of control over the situation. You end up having to kill dogs, even though you don't want to kill dogs. Okay? And you don't really get anything out of it. Ghost of Tsushima is a fully open world game. Okay? Okay? Uh, you have to do a loading screen in between when you're jumping from different areas of the island. There's like three different areas of the island, spoiler alert, and you get to jump from each one of those. Combat, I bought Ghost of Tsushima, and let me tell you, I bought it, told a dude over at a job well, while he was on work. He left that job at one hour. There were three copies left after I bought mine, so I bought one of four copies, the other three copies were gone within an hour. I know this because he come back and said, that game was gone, dude. Uh, it's been a month. Or however long Ghost of Tsushima has been out. I, can fi- I could find The Last of Us Part 2 on shelves. Always. Even after it was released. I could find it. I cannot find Ghost of Tsushima. Not a physical copy. I, if, I want, if I didn't have a physical copy now, I'd have to buy a digital one. And I'm so glad I got a physical copy. Also, Ghost of Tsushima has multiplayer coming out. <laughs> multiplayer co-op. So I don't have to listen to people play like, we well, are just better the game because you used to be you used to be a tryhard. Like that one idiot on TikTok. That guy just... As soon as I find that video, I am going to make a video on that idiot. But you have Ghost of Tsushima, which the combat is challenging. I've got everything unlocked in combat right now, except maybe one or two or three things in stealth mode, uh, you know, with your evolving tactics. And it's still freaking challenging. I've got the Dance of Death. I've got uh, the Heavenly Strike. I've got armor. I've got the best bow. I've got some of the best armor in the game. And there are some times where I make a mistake and I get slapped to the ground like a bitch and I've got to use two resolve tokens to get my ass back up off the ground then another three resolve tokens to get my health to a point where i can continue the battle it's like all right we got patty smacked we got to focus here you know it's challenging and the story behind it is really good the story of ghost of tsushima is basically red dawn which is one of my favorite kind of stories it's it's not so much just patriotism it's love of one's country and one's will to survive okay you have and spoiler alert for what's called, i'll try not to spoil it but the general gist of the game's story is jin sakai is 
faced with a dilemma when he when his people realize they are fighting an enemy that is not going to fight them fairly that is going to turn their culture their language everything about them against them to make an advantage so all their honor all of their you know being right and being a pillar and being an example for their people now all of that is working against them and so jin ends up taking a more underhanded tone and you feel it because as jin starts killing people he starts he starts off like you know you can tell when he talks he's like it had to be done this this had to be done before long jin doesn't even talk about it there are subtle nuances in the game the game's got great mechanics uh finding your way around the map with the wind instead of a mini map that's that's just amazing all the armor i also love how the screen set up to where it's decluttered usually you've got all these fucking stats on a game and i ghost of tsushima is just wonderfully uncluttered you only have information when you need the information there is none of this oh look we've got a health bar and a stam bar and a magic bar and a a dick meter and a piss in the tank meter and uh yeah a, a when you've got to to kill a bad guy meter and all this other nonsense not to mention we got you have health resolve and that's all you need unless you are cycling through different weapons at that point or you're changing stances that's the only time the only time you're going to see the stance stuff to change the stances is when you're actively trying to change stances and that will slow things down a bit so you but it doesn't take it away. So there's no infinite time with it. You're still pressed for time, but you're trying to, you know, like swap real quickly and get between different skills and whatnot. But the the game the game plays on your sense of patriotism. It's like what would happen if people invaded your hometown? I mean, you would fight back, and that's Ghost of Tsushima, man. And that's why this right now on the screen you're seeing, that's just a blank area of the case. You're not gonna find I don't think you can find Ghost of Tsushima anywhere. Not a physical copy. And I live in a town, I live in a hick town of about 1,200 people. There shouldn't be this many people buying Ghost of Tsushima in this town. And i tell you what I think it is. I don't think there are enough people that play games in my town to buy Ghost of Tsushima. Most people are playing COD if they're, if they're playing any kind of games. I don't think there's enough casual gamers to, to do this. I think what's going on is you can't find in the big cities and the people in the big cities are coming down buying it in my town because the game is so good. You have this versus this, okay? You have good storytelling. This is the result of good storytelling. This is the result of bad storytelling. This is the result of a good protagonist that one can relate to. This is the result of a protagonist that nobody can relate to except about less than one, less than 2 or 3% of the population. I mean, it makes no... No, no freaking sense whatsoever. Uh, I don't understand why Neil Druckmann does not come out and just apologize to his entire fan base. At this point, if I made a game and I saw this, and then I saw this, I wouldn't be bitching about hurting women. I wouldn't be bitching about how the fans are, about a few trolls. I would come online and say, look, we fucked up. We screwed up. I'm sorry. We will do our best that this will never happen again. And honestly, I would take another chance on Naughty Dog if he did that. But that's not going to happen because we're dealing with a total narcissist. Anyway, I am the last reader, folks. <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hit the bell for notification. I put out new videos as often as I can. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.